Welcome everyone uh, to quality management and today we continue with where we stopped last lecture in the strategic planning process as a part of the total quality management. The strategic planning process consists of six phases or six steps starting with developing the mission, vision and values, then developing goals and objectives, establishing KPIs for those objectives, and balance scorecard to overmap your uh, strategic plan and perform the risk analysis and the operational plan. Today we'll cover the first two, developing mission, vision and values and developing the goals and the objectives. And then we will continue in another section, the remaining uh, uh, process. Starting with the vision, the vision usually is shows where you want to be, what is your future, how it looks like for your organization. The vision statement usually should be short, and these are the seven characteristics for the vision statement. Realistic, possible, you, you can achieve it. Include challenge, it has a challenge, it's not something that easy you, you, uh, you do. Um, easy to remember, so that's why they use very short uh, statements for the vision. Clear and short and compatible with the organization. So if your organization working in entertainment, then it has to be matching with that if it's working for uh, technology, uh, uh, then it has to be compatible with this also. This gives the identity, the identity of your organization, where it wants to be. For example, we have many good examples for the vision statements. Um, most of us, we are using Google um, often, like weekly or daily. So if we look to Google statement, uh, the vision statement, it says to provide access to the world information in one click. Basically, this is what they want to achieve in the future. And we can say that uh, since they established Google, they already achieved that. Um, also, Disney, uh, the big entertainment company known, um, their vision statement is to make people happy, as simple as this. And if you apply all these seven characteristics of the vision statement, you can see it is applicable, it's realistic, possible. It has a challenge, how you make people happy. Easy to remember for you when you read it, easy to catch it and recall this is a Disney uh, a vision statement. Um, also, a, uh, IKEA or IKEA, we call it here, to create a better everyday life for many people. Um, and Instagram, capture and share the world's moment. So these are um, some few good examples of vision statements and you can search and you find many others. Sometimes it gets larger than these statements, depend on how large is the organization and how it's complex and has um, multiple divisions and different divisions. But usually you need to keep it short as possible and clear, easy to remember and include all the remaining characteristics of the vision statement. Now, moving to the mission statement, the mission statement usually answering questions where the vision statement shows you where you are in the future and where you want to be, but the mission is, your, is like your daily job in the organization. And answering these um, uh, questions, and it consists of these six characteristics. These questions that the mission statement should ask, answer are what and what we mean here, what are the service you are offering? What are the products you are producing? Uh, how, how the path you choose to provide this service or you choose to provide this product? For who, who is your customer for the product or the service you are providing? why why you are existing the motivation of your existence as an organization or entity 
the driving forces, the force will affect my movement. For example, energy or um, the, the people or um, the technology or uh, financial depend on um, um, your organization or students if you're a university or um, culture or society these could be driving forces for your organization distinctive comparison uh, competence um, how you are going to be uh, different than others so you see the statement of the mission a mission usually more informative about what you are doing and how and for whom and all these questions to be answered in the mission statements. We will take an example in a few after we cover the remaining parts of the values and goals and objectives. Values, usually, not all the time you may see it announced, but in, in most of organizations, they should have values. Why we need values? Qiyam, in Arabic, qiyam. Values can help make decisions, foster a culture of teamwork and collaboration, and create positive working environment. What does it mean? It means that in some cases, you may need to make decisions, and these decisions come from different um, a point of view and we have different decisions let's say and then you have to make one decision this make the people at the end finalize or make it easy for them to finalize their, their decisions if the people work in this environment even if they have different thoughts and different beliefs at the end the values will make them more all of them uh, at the end uh, serve one uh, exact value, which is the organization value. Um, uh, the teamwork and uh, environment will be more healthy when you have um, uh, values, because this will be the standards, as we can say, to your organization. It has to be those uh, values, it has four characteristics, attractive and proud, jadiba, uh, behind organization, for example, your organization uh, has transparency uh, um, driven from um, maybe uh, Islamic culture or uh, um, uh, reliable um, sources of information to be provided or quality of education um, consistent with each other. It has to be not contradicting definitely and it has to be practical and the most important enhanced performance the values are there to make the performance better. As we say, it foster a culture, teamwork We will see um, um, examples about uh, the values um, after we finish here the goals and the objectives. Goals and objectives, those two terms, we see them a lot and they sometimes overlap with each other. But in, in strategic planning, what we mean by goals are the long term, the broad one, and the objectives are the, the short term, the measurable, and um, uh, to achieve the goals. We use it to achieve the goals. As we say, you may use it in projects and in, 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 um, uh, in these terms, uh, in opposite ways or one of them you may use it in projects but in strategic planning goals usually are broad and the objectives are specific and to serve those goals um, your goals in the projects or in any organization um, we have the strategic goals which one the one that the broad and the long term and then we have something called the smart goals the smart goals these are similar somehow to um, or bigger than the objectives, but um, it has a time frame. And we will see that in a few when we look to the example. The SMART, it stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Your goal has to be specific. You want to be a profitable company. You want to be um, provide uh, renewable energy. 
uh, measurable, then you can convert it to a uh, quantifiable measure um, by production level, by uh, income, by um, um, environment um, um, pollution uh, percentage. Uh, يعني اللي هو العوادم نسبة الغازات مبثقة مثلا achievable you can achieve it relevant to your organization definitely and time bound you have to put a time and then when you want to achieve this goal objectives as we say becomes more specific like for example you as if the goal says you want to become profitable in, in five years objective lay off 20% of workers. Well, I don't agree with this stack of objectives to achieve that goal, but this is, could be a practice a company could use or organization they use. Now, um, let's move on to some examples. I brought it from Taiba University, <clears throat> where you are studying, and it's good to see your organization, uh, vision, and <clears throat> mission, uh, mission statements. For example, this is the vision statement of the Piper University, an internationally recognized comprehensive Saudi university dedicated to excellence in teaching, research, and community service. This is the vision statement. Well, maybe it's not as short as we see in Google and Instagram, but the, the pillar of building university usually are um, um, some kind of um, complex. These three elements or pillars of the university is usually teaching, research, and community service. Tadris, uh, So at the end, you have to include this in, in your vision uh, where you want to be in the future for this organization or this university. And from these statements of the vision, Usually, when you build a strategic plan, you develop attributes. Say, the معايير or محددات خلينا نقول statements نفسه. These attributes driven from the vision statements here. International, because it says internationally, so you have you can be ranked internationally with other universities. You can attract students from all the world to be joining this university. Um, you can do collaboration with other universities over or uh, across the world to provide joint program, for example. Um, excellence in teaching, so dedicated to excellence in teaching. يعني هي ملتزمة بتقديم جودة. Research, the same for the research and the same for the community. So this helps you later when you develop your strategic plan to have the main element or attributes from your vision statement to uh, draw your goals, to draw your strategic uh, objectives. Then you draw your projects to serve these uh, goals. As we will see now, the mission statement. Um, by the way, in the in the second column here is the College of Engineering uh, vision. So you can compare, and since the university has many colleges, many divisions, many centers, units, even branches, and uh, they are located in different cities. So each of these um, entities they need to develop their statements uh, which has to be mapped with the organization statements like for example let's say siemens company is very well known name company siemens they have different div com sub companies they have the, the the electrical power company they have the healthcare company they have the the motor they have many others each of those sub companies they have their own vision statements and mission statement which has to be mapped with the main one that uh, the, the big uh, vision statement of the organization now let's move on to the mission the mission statement here is more detailed and as we say that it answered the questions we showed later contribution of building of society 
that promote sustainable development and knowledge economic through distinguished education, quality research, and, uh, and community partnership and, and environment conductive to teaching and innovation. Now, the, the main part is the contribution of building the society. This is the main uh, core of the mission statement. All these, the remaining comes as an attribute to achieve that. Okay, and definitely shows us how by these attributes, teaching, research, community service, academic environment, knowledge advancement, and definitely the, the society are the one who are benefiting from this organization. The same for the College of Engineering has to build their own mission statement, which has to be also mapped in all the elements of or the attributes of the um, university. One. Moving on to the values. The values, as we explained, this help to provide a uh, good motivation and uh, foster the, the working environment, um, make there is a standards for this organization. When people, they have different um, point of view, the values help you to choose the option or the decision to make the decision that is based on the university identity, it gives you the identity in, 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 in making the decisions and the standards and the reference for this. Um, here we have multiple values, liability, transparency, and accountability, responsible freedom, excellence, innovation, creative leadership, readiness and flexibility, justice, future. All these are the values of the university. And definitely any college, they have to be providing their values, which will be mapped also with the university one. You can use the same, but in, in defining yours, you can be more specific. Like, for example, here is very broad sentences when you explain each value, like the transparency and accountability, dealing clearly and openly with all of the faculty, staff, and students according to a clear mechanism of accountability. And when you go to the sub uh, uh, divisions, they can elaborate these with the one, with the more statements or more information they uh, that serve their um, uh, division or their college or their center. Here is the more the definitions about uh, the, these values. Like, for example, one of the values is the quality. A constant search for the best practices or uh, uh, and policies uh, and work on application. So here they define the value of quality as um, so this value, when there is going to be an options and different point of view about solutions or about policies, about practices, always this helps the teamwork in the organization how to choose them based on this is our value. We have to find the best practices, the best policies. Uh, we have to be transparent and we have to be accountable and shows that in across over all the levels of our organization. OK, so the policies, procedures, that's why you see them all publicized. Uh, capstone policy, the training policy, the admission policy, all of them are on the web page. This is part of the university value because you have promised that you will have transparency and accountability. Okay. Now moving on to the strategic 
goals and objectives. Sometimes they call them goals, sometimes they call them strategic goals. We will see how um, there is another file. Let's demonstrate the other file is more clear. Here. From the beginning, you need to show, for example, here they have developed seven domains, seven domains. مجالات ها مجالات او مسارات او مناطق او يعني you can name it um, in the way you can understand it but these seven domains draw or driven from the attributes that you extracted from the mission and the vision statement يعني هذه الدومينز لاحظ هنا second domain here let's see this one it's scientific research and graduate studies where does we got it from remember the vision and the mission, mission statement the vision and the mission statement consist the research there so these domain came from the attributes you wrote them in the mission and the vision okay and then for each domain you develop strategic goals Okay, and these are the goals that I explained to you from the beginning, the, the broad one, okay? For example, here for the research, enhance facility, infrastructure, and resources. تحسين البنية التحتية والموارد في المؤسسة. Let's move on to another uh, domain and another goal. Distinction in teaching and learning. Teaching also is, was one of the attributes in the mission and the vision statement. And the strategic goal, we have three strategic goals for this domain. Provide high quality educational environment. Obtain program accreditation. Strengthen faculty competence. Fine. Fakrindi, do you remember obtain program accreditation? I believe most of you have heard it before or seen it before when colleges uh, seek for uh, the accreditation for their program because it was part of the strategic plan. It was part of the strategic goals. Okay, so we move on from the strategic goals to SMART goals. Now, the SMART goals are more specific compared to the strategic goals, okay? Those very broad, the SMART goals are the one has the, um, 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 the features or characteristics of SMART, the specific, measurable, um, applicable, uh, uh, realistic, and time frame. So let's see an example here. Providing high quality environment high quality educational environment it's from here the first goal so this is the first goal has specific goals and then has strategic direction which is the first domain distinction in teaching learning so this is the strategic domain and then you have the strategic goals and then you have the smart goals so let's move on to the second one that is obtain program accreditation. This was the goal. The smart goal will be qualify the academic programs to obtain academic accreditation. تهيئت أو تجهيز البرامج الأكاديمية للحصول على الاعتماد البرامجي والأكاديمي. Now this is the smart goal. Then you develop objectives. Then you develop projects. Okay. You develop objectives and you develop good projects. What are the could be the objectives? The objectives, um, you cannot do all the programs at the same time. You have hundreds of programs in, in the big universities. Um, or let's say I need 10 uh, programs that is eligible to be accredited, uh, 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 but you cannot then put them all together in the same year, for example. Maybe this will be unbalancing your strategic plan. When you look at to the balance scorecard later, you have to be balanced in your projects. You, you cannot just focus on one strategic goal here and you put all the resources there and that will definitely will be 
on behalf of the others. So you may break it down into small projects or small uh, objectives. These objectives here, very specific. For example, the first year or every year we will accredit it a minimum of three programs or two programs um, or between two to four programs. This is objectives and it has a time frame and very specific and serve the SMART goal. And from there, you can develop the execution plan or the operational plan. I have now a project, very clear, very specific time frame, one year. I have three programs. You can list it, the programs that is more ready to be accredited. And you put the plan. What are the resources needed? What are the challenges? What are uh, the documentation? When we should start? What is the time frame? for every step in the accreditation. This is only one here. I'm just explaining one strategic goal and one smart goal, okay? So imagine when you have a large strategic plan, like here, you have seven domains, as we saw here, you have seven, this is five, and then the second page, you have seven, and each domain has three strategic goals, and for each strategic goal, you have uh, smart goals that can be from here, like for example, this one has one uh, four smart goals. Here you have four smart goals. Here you have one smart goal. At the end, you have each smart goal. It will be also later converted into uh, objectives and into project uh, and executive plan. For example, here improving uh, national and international university ranking. This is the domain. Uh, which is also driven from one of the attributes in the mission and the vision. And this domain has a strategic uh, goal. The strategic goal for this one here is improving the, as we say, the international and national. What are the three goals for this strategic uh, goals, uh, domain, uh, sorry, for that domain? Improving the college website in Arabic and English, support faculty and staff professional development, support interdisciplinary research and publications. Great. Okay, how you put these in the SMART goals? Then we look at, we look at to this here. You have developed the website, improve the college website in Arabic, and then from here, you take this one here, and you put an executive plan to implement it, and you have the objective with the time frame, um, how many colleges you will improve, how many divisions, how many departments, because this, it could be not happening in one year. It can take more than one year because of the resources that is needed to achieve each of these SMART goals. I hope this is gives you an, an idea about the first two steps of the strategic planning process developing your mission, vision, values, and the goals and objectives of the uh, strategic plan. In the next uh, meeting, we will discuss the key develop now your projects. Uh, you you, excuse me. You develop your goals, you develop your objectives, and from there, you can um, uh, develop your performance indicator where you can monitor the progress and monitor um, um, also the performance for your organization. So we will stop for here the recording and then we will continue with the key performance indicators in the next meeting.